evidence of fossilized bacteria. Jupiter's moon Europa may have oceans hidden under its icy surface. And on Saturn's moon Titan, complex chemical processes might be swirling within the atmosphere. Could life exist elsewhere, either within our own solar system or farther out in the Milky Way galaxy? Origins will follow up on recent findings that some other stars, like our Sun, have planets in orbit around them. Astronomer Dr. Jeff Marcy was among the first to make this exciting discovery and believes many more will follow. Clearly we're just seeing the tip of the planetary iceberg in a sense. We're seeing the biggest planets, the ones easiest to detect, but I have no doubt that there are smaller planets out there yet to be detected that our current technology simply can't find. So the real excitement is what we're going to do from here. Could a newly found planet have the right ingredients to sustain life of some form? We think that in the cosmos, just as here on Earth, there are three secrets of real estate. Location, location, location. Earth has a great location for living things. We can look for planets in a similar habitable zone around other stars with the right temperature, size, density, and chemistry. It would be difficult enough to see such a dim, small planet by itself. But finding it against the blinding glare of its parent sun, surrounded by dust clouds, would pose an enormous challenge. The Origins program will overcome these obstacles and search for habitable planets. To follow the sequence of cosmic events that ultimately led to the formation of planetary systems, Origins will look far away far back in time to explore the development of early galaxies and stars. This quest will try to solve what astronomer Dr. Alan Dressler calls the cosmic mystery novel. We have pieces of this story and we have to connect them all into one coherent tale of how the universe led to the formation of worlds like Earth and people like us. People like us are literally made of stardust. 90% of each person's body consists of carbon, nitrogen, and other chemical elements created in the nuclear furnace of a burning star. We want to learn more about the very first stars which formed nearly all the elements. The origin search for answers is a methodical scientific series of missions using highly innovative technologies and expertise. To develop the necessary tools, the program will draw on America's top scientific and engineering talent from NASA, industry, and academia. One of the Origins missions, the Next Generation Space Telescope, will follow up the exciting discoveries and pictures from the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble's chief scientist and Origins director, Dr. Ed Weiler, says this new powerful telescope will teach us even more about galaxies. We need to build a much larger telescope than the Hubble Space Telescope because we need to look further back in time and further back in space to see the basically the infant galaxies. With Hubble we're looking back to about maybe one billion years after the Big Bang and we're already seeing uh, galaxies or forms of galaxies or maybe little chunks of galaxies but we're not really seeing the first forms so we need to look back even further. Leading up to the next generation space telescope, the Space Infrared Telescope will use highly sensitive optics to see through the clouds of dust and gas that obscure much of the universe. It will sense the heat emitted by objects from the oldest galaxies to forming stars and developing planetary systems. To help us search for planets orbiting other stars, NASA will launch two missions using the innovative technology of interferometry. The Space Interferometry mission will pinpoint with great precision the location of nearby stars and look for their subtle wobbling motion which provides indirect evidence that gravity from orbiting planets is tugging at them. Interferometry combines and processes light gathered by several relatively small telescopes to produce an image comparable to that produced by a much larger telescope. 
The first space interferometer will be a technological stepping stone to the more powerful terrestrial planet finder, which will simulate a telescope the size of a football field. The planet finder will take family portraits of stars and their orbiting planets. Furthermore, by analyzing the light emitted by these planets, we can determine which ones have the right chemistry to sustain life, and even which planets actually host some form of life. To develop the technologies needed to detect planets, astronomers must learn more about the dust clouds which surround solar systems. If the clouds are very thick, we may need a much longer interferometer, one too long to be built as one unit. In that case, we will simulate a giant interferometer by placing several telescopes on separated spacecraft flown in formation. Here on Earth, the Keck telescopes in Hawaii will be linked as a ground-based interferometer. Among other things, Keck will help us learn more about the dust clouds which hamper visibility of planetary systems. With these advanced astronomical techniques, NASA's Origins program will explore the mysteries of the universe and search for signs of life in our own planetary neighborhood and beyond. This marriage of technology and modern science will help us answer one of the most fundamental and fascinating questions in human history. A question which has captured the imagination of people through the ages. Are we 